So, good tip for moving the machine, you take the weight out. So, now we take the two screws out. You should be able to push those backwards. Oh, a bit stiff. Okay. Done that. So there's a there's a black plug here that you pull out. That hot stops these from falling out. So then you've got to pull down on here. A lot. Jeez. Here she comes. So that's the exit drain. You'll see one. That goes to the pump. She's coming off. Always better to do this outside if you can, because then when the water goes everywhere, it doesn't ruin your floor or anything else. on. No screw in this one, front one. Uh, that's off. So now all of this you got to pull it out gently and there we go. Raise it up in the air. And that is ladies and gentlemen is why you want to do it outside. So the whole reservoir now if you can see here is empty and that was full up to about here. So that's quite a lot of water. You want that on your floor. That's at least two towels worth of water there. Now pull the micro switches off. Stiff. And second one. Just wobble, wobble, wobble. You see, there's a. You can see there's a, a clip, clip just down there where this pin sits, and then the whole lot comes out. And now we've just got the uh, that red bar. You need to be careful of because that does the float switch in the base of the machine, which if it uh, floods, stops the water coming in. Right, so there we go. Be careful of that. Make sure you don't break it as well. So now we've got another... Ah. Oh, that's gungy water. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll stick that up there so it can't come out. So now we've got the mechanism that's all gunged up out. We can pull it all apart. Oh, look at the state of that. Pull it all apart and put it back together again after it's clean. We're going to need some little screwdrivers. There's a clip here, a clip here, clip here, and a clip here. So you've got four clips and only two hands. I think we might need a bit of vice action. Let's take it in. So that's how to get the micro switch out. Screwdriver either side, really gently. And you can see, see here, you've got a clip here and a clip here, a clip here and a clip here which fit in the two holes in the micro switch. You put that down now. You should be able to pull the black arm out. There we go. Now that should, fingers crossed, come out the whole way. This float chamber mechanism here, it's the same for most Boshes that I've taken apart so far, and uh, oh, it's still not super keen on coming out. Let's see, I've released the top half, I think I might have bent it over a bit much, and then the bottom half isn't keen on coming out. And I guess, as I say, it's 
plastic's quite old, so I really be careful with it. There we go. I'm in there now. So, it should be. Ah, nothing holding it. That's really horrible. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. So, that's all going to be cleaned up. Look at it in the float as well. You can see all the mess in the float chamber. And the, uh, so this pressure switch, that's, uh, that's really disgusting. Don't even think I want to touch that. So we'll get that cleaned up and we'll come back. Right, so here we are at the sink. We've got the float out. It actually didn't, wasn't too bad because I injected a bit of a cleaner in there just for its test cycle. Um, but as you can see, this is uh, really disgusting. So that's why we've got an old toothbrush and some hot water. Well, not particularly stuck on, it's coming off quite easily. But, uh, as you can see, it doesn't do your mechanism any good having that in there. Yeah, even the uh, lime scales, quite loose. Now, I wonder if that's a factor of the lime scale remover I injected into the mech before I I just put it in the top of the float chamber. I'm impressed with that, that seems to be a top tip. So depending on where you live and how much lime scale is on there, that might need soaking overnight in some lime scale remover. Things may vary. 5th of the 12th, 2003. So you can see this machine's quite old. This black bit, it's not actually held in, it's just held in with gunge. So I've been prying away, finally, you can get the screwdriver under here and pry upwards gently, gently, there it goes. And it's just, it's just let go. Put the float back in, and put the pressure switch back on. Yep, that all clips together very easily. Funny how much putting it back together is much easier than taking it apart. Push the float, the float goes in like that, with that bar up, and then you have to push the bar right the way in. There we go, just gone clunk. We're ready to clip the switch in now. There we go. In that one. And in the bottom one. Lovely. So we've uh, cleaned the float chamber and the uh, pressure switch chamber. So now I'm going to try and clean this horrible mess here. So we've got our distilled malt vinegar. Just the thing in our fight against gunge. Right. I dispense with the finery. And I've just shoved a load in there. Right, we shall leave that to fester in the sun for an hour or so. Get up to the bottom pipe. There. Don't forget to put the red rod for the float switch uh, back in as well. And then slot it in. Make sure there's a, a black grommet here. On the left, that you want to make sure it goes in, sits nicely in, and just ease it back in, and you'll feel it just pushes in. So that's in. Hook up the two micro switches. There we go. Let's check they're secure. Now we pick up our lovely clean water matrix. As you can see, <coughs> I've, uh, the top is all now lovely and clean. Um, first of all, I tried vinegar in it, and that wasn't very successful. So um, it seems that it wasn't really lime scale in there. 
So uh, I hit it with uh, three lots of bleach and that, uh, that really get it, got it going. So one set left in the sun um, then swilled it out with uh, warm water. Then the uh, second one I left in the sun again and the third lot I left overnight having swilled it all out again. And that seems to have cleaned it out just about like new. Not quite like new but good enough. So that goes back in. And if we can hook up these pipes first, it just makes life a little bit easier. So that's to the pump at the bottom. This is the external drain. And that, alright, so they're all roughly the right place. Now push down. Just give it a there we go. <coughs> Just rock it in and you'll see it fits nicely into the grommets. Oh yes. It's more like it. There you go, wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Just push that in. So that's up. This one is definitely up. This one that's quite short. And you can tell when it's got to the right place because the two black washers o-rings are in the same place. So now we need two metal brackets that we took off originally. One in here. Another one in here. Right, and our two Torx T20s which go in there. So after we've got the matrix back in and got these two pipes on, this remember this black clip that uh, goes in that way up and holds basically holds the pipes, stops them being pulled out, clips in there. So now we need to put the two corner pieces back on. This one goes on here. It just holds in. Torx T20, it's uh, one of the gold ones, about three, three quarters of an inch, or 19 mil for the metric amongst you. There we go, that just holds that in, and this one, if you remember, just pushes on at the top first. There we go, that's clipped under, and they push down at the side. Oh, there we go, and it pops in, won't go around the other way. Another top tip. Now we've got that. Weight that goes in the top of the machine. Extra nine kilos of ballast. And now we can hook it up. I'll leave the side off so you can see. And uh, we'll hook it up and see it running. I loaded the machine up, ready to start it up. Eco 50. Off she goes. So, hopefully, oh, we should be able to see some water flowing around here. Oh. Yeah, so that's loading significantly quicker than it did last time. The, uh, when, when I loaded it to do the testing, it took uh, nearly 10 minutes for it to load the water because the float chamber and the uh, where all that gunk was in the pressure switch and the float chamber and all in here it just just couldn't fill the machine properly so you can see we're up to here Just about to start cascading over the top of the mechanism there. And then into the float chamber. There it is. So the cascade started. And now you can see it's just rushing into the bottom pipe here. And that before was not, believe me, it wasn't rushing. In fact, it wasn't even walking. 
It was a barely at a crawl. And we're off already. So that's uh, from empty to full and working.